And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who come in late, we are now having a little cooking session right here on the scene. Putting the pot on in here. And we'd like for you to join in with us and have a ball. Hi, this is Dara. Welcome back to the next part of uh, looking at the user stories section of building our web product space. All right, so I've added some, um, you know, sampling of epics, task stories, um, et cetera, just to play around with, you know, so we have some, some material to play around with. And I thought for this particular video, I would focus on how we can now change our view of this table to be, to, to work with road mapping. Um, so let's go ahead and, and create a new view. So for this view, I'm going to create a board view. Let's call it roadmap. roadmap. Board view. All right. And I want this to be grouped by release. Okay. And everything should fall under here because that's the only release that, that we have so far. Um, the other thing is that I, I don't want to see every level. I just want to see the epic level because those are the things that I'm going to be road mapping at that level. Is what epics are we going to be working on for this? So, um, and this is an deport, important distinction. So when I talk about themes, I may not have everything in my theme happen. So um, if we get back to this theme, we've got the meal plan, the recipe page, the shopping list. For this site to be able to go public for us to create an MVP um, to at least get started, I have to have this recipe page. But I don't have to have the menu and the list page until maybe the first iteration. So I can have this out in the world with, you know, a home page and some kind of search functionality recipe page. That might be the MVP, just those three things. So my scenario um, is not going to be tracked in the roadmap, just the epic level to say that I need to do all the things for this epic to be able to release it um, for that iteration. All right, so let's go back to the stories. So I'm going to filter this so that I'm only seeing the epic types. Okay, which also makes it easier to see our list. So I want to create uh, a couple releases. So the first one I'm just going to call um, setup. Or I could call this like the, you know, I'm going to keep it set up because it's all the work that we're going to do before we have something that we can build. Sometimes there's a pre MVP release. So things that are, it's somewhat functional and maybe there's a beta group of people that come in to see that, but I'm just going to do setup. MVP um, release one, and uh, that's it for now. So I've added some things in here like technical setup. So obviously that goes into the setup box bucket and dev design setup. So under here are going to be tickets like, um, you know, setting up the development environment. You know, is there a GitHub space that we need to have? Um, are there like, you know, we're using Gulp and so Node.js and Gulp have to be installed. Like, you know, whatever the technical setup, design setup, you know, what are the tools that we're using? Do we need to, you know, if we're, we're using Sketch, do we have Sketch installed? Are we going to use Abstract in order to, to make sure that our files are synced? Uh, um, by the way, that's a tip. Abstract is the designer's version of GitHub. So if you use Abstract with your Sketch, you're doing the same thing developers are doing with their code in GitHub. Awesome. I uh, definitely think that's a direction to try out. Um, you know, what other things that we just need to, for design setup? And then uh, this one scenario, so that's going through and making sure that we have decided which one of, which of these scenarios are in fact part of our system and start moving them through this process. So once they're complete, that's when they end up here. So this um, is part of our setup process. All right, so now as we said to launch, we are going to want to have the ability to search for a recipe. We're going to want the recipe page itself. But then menus and shopping list, we're going to go ahead and save those for the next release. Okay, 
So boom, I've done road mapping. <laughs> That's it. That, it was that simple. I, you know, you can't do that on JIRA. Okay, so it wasn't quite that simple because now um, it is tagged on the epic level, but oops, but it's not tagged um, down on the story level. And when we start doing our sprint planning, we need to be able to make sure that we're only looking at the things that are in the current release. We don't want to look at things that are in future releases while we're doing sprint planning. We want to be focused. Um, the other thing you can do, if you notice, you can you can move things around. So this is how you can assign a, a priority by moving things around just in that list uh, that way. All right, so I'm going to go into my recipes. And if I had thought about this before, when I set up <coughs> the Epic template and I set up this... Um, this view, I could have also at that time created a roadmap view. So now I'm going to have to do this. And the only downfall in not doing it ahead of time is that I haven't already set up, you know, I hadn't pre-set up this, the filter. So when I change view, it's going to become unfiltered. But this is actually going to be the easiest way to move things in the roadmap. So we know this is part of the MVP. I'm going to say roadmap again. Create that board view. Make sure it's grouped by release. And I want to now add my filters. So you see we're getting the, the proper things set up here, but these are all our epics, right? And just to just to show you, oops, just to show you that I'm gonna show the property type, right? So epic and here stories, task, whatever. Now task, I'm not gonna worry about putting in um, the roadmap because if we're deciding to work on a story, those tasks should be completed with the story. So within the two week sprint, we're gonna create, complete all the tasks that belong to that story that we've assigned to the sprint. So I just need to assign these to the stories themselves to the release. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the filter. And remember we wanted the type to be story, right? And then we want to make sure that the name or the parent is recipe so that we're not, we're only looking at the stuff that belongs to recipe. So parent. Okay, and then since we know that we want this to be in the MVP, the easiest thing is just to select and drag all that over to, boom, MVP, done. They're all now assigned to our MVP and our road mapping for uh, this has is complete. So we would go through and make sure that we've done that now for each of the things in roadmap. Now search, I don't, I didn't, I didn't build it out, so I don't have. Um, any uh, so you see I don't have any any stories under search but I would do the same thing I would you know create that roadmap view and I would drag them into MVP so that's how we do our roadmap so now if we do a um, a grooming view So in this case, what I want to do is I want to uh, group by the status and I'm going to hide the columns that I don't need. So um, because I'm going, I don't need closed, I don't need complete, review, blocked, or in progress. I just need these three, no status, grooming, and ready to work, right? I also don't need to see the epics. And I don't need to see the, no, I do need to see the task, so we just don't need to see the epics. All right. 
Now these aren't in any kind of order. They're just like, oh, we want to we want to filter by MVP. So see, I have things in here that are not MVP. So we also want that the release is MVP because that's the part we're working on. I mean, technically we haven't done setup, so that would be the part we're working on, but you understand what I'm saying. So now what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to see these are the things that we're going to work on. Let's go ahead and show oops, their properties just so we can see what's a story and what's a type. Oh, the tasks are not in the release. So part of, so I don't have to show that at all. And I didn't have to sort by, filter by that either, which is cool. All right. Um, so when I go in, I say, oops, when I go in and I'm going to do the grooming for um, recipes, and this should be in order of operations. I want to go in and this is when I'm going to groom and make sure that I have all the information that I need for these tickets. So I've got all the sub tickets created. The sub tickets have all the information they need to be worked on. So now that that's done, I can go back in and I can say like, okay, this is, you know, we're still in the midst of working on this ticket. So it's going to be in grooming, but, um, once it's ready to work, I can move it to ready to work. And I can actually say that this one, because we did write the criteria, is ready to work. Okay, this one still needs to be groomed. So I'm going to move that here. And just so I have some other stuff that's ready to work, let's move this here. And I'm going to go ahead and pretend this is groomed. All right, so that's going to be it for setting up our table for doing uh, both the road mapping and for going through our grooming process. I'm going to come back in the next video and I'm going to show how we go ahead and do our sprint planning. All right, so I hope this is, I hope this is really helpful. I know it's a lot and it's long um, and it's definitely a process to watch as a whole course. <laughs> I see that I've, I've been developing here, but I, I hope you're enjoying it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.